Hello my dear student of class 6 I am your mentor Shikha brought to you the textual part from the new chapter of literature reader of new broadway Question number 1 from the part learn to read understand why does Lewis consider Dora's visit as awkward the answer is Lewis considered Dora's visit as awkward because Dora's arrival can create a problem as Jane Martlet will not stay less than a fortnight in the house. So it is not possible to get her out of the house by Thursday, the day when Dora is arriving. Actually, Dora and Jane Martellet, they are not sharing good relationship between them. And uh, when Dora arrives at the same time, Jane Martellet uh, already uh, uh, would be there. So it uh, can be a problem for Lois and Mrs. Beaudesil. Question number two is a line from the text and some questions have been framed out of this line and we have to answer those questions. The line is, nothing short as miracle would make Jane leave herself a lot if fortnight is over. First question from this line, who says these words to whom? Answer is, Mrs. Bew whistle to Lewis. Next question is, why does the speaker want Jane to leave? The answer is, the speaker wants Jane to leave because Jane and Dora were sharing bitter relationship between them and could not live together under one roof at the same time. And this could be a problem for Lois and Mrs. Beauvissel. Next question from this line, who promises to make the miracle happen and why? It was Lois who promises to make the miracle happen because he is clever and brilliant in power of his speech and known as Miracle Merchant. Next question, does the miracle happen? What effect does it have on the speaker? The answer is no, the miracle doesn't happen. Mrs. Beauvissel says that Jane is very firm on her decision and it is not easy for anybody to deviate her from her stance. So, Lois, uh, uh, Lois is thinking that uh, he uh, can be able to take Jane out of the house before Dora's arrival. But Mrs. Beauvissel is very much aware about uh, Jane's determination that she will not go until the time period she just wants to spare in that house before that. Question number three, how does Mrs. Beauvissel try to get rid of Jane? Does she succeed? Answer, Mrs. Beauvissel tries to convince Jane by informing about Mackenzie Hubbard's wedding on coming Thursday at St. Peter Seton Square Church as Jane is the friend of Louisa Hubbard but Jane denies to attend the marriage and the plan to send Jane out of the house is failed. So it was just a, we can say another example or just a try that Mrs. Beauvissel wants to give it uh, to uh, send the Jane out of the house but it fails. Next question, poor Matilda could scarcely get anything to get. This is another line from the text that has been taken here and some questions have been framed. First question is, who is Matilda? Why does Lois say about her and storage? The answer is Matilda is one of the visitors who visited Mrs. Bubisil's house last summer. Lois says that Sturridge had a delusion that Matilda Sheringham was a prophet Eliza who lived in 19th century and mentioned in Old Testament. He says so after listening this, uh, Jane plans to leave the house. Actually, this uh, was uh, completely a fake story and uh, that was planned by Lois just to make Jane to leave the house. Next question from this line only, why does Lois talk about Sturridge's delusion and behavior to Jane? Lois talks about Sturridge's delusion and behavior to Jane because Jane is really determined not to go before her stipulated time period. Even Mrs. Beauvissel was failed to convince her to leave. So Lois plans to make a condition through Sturridge that enforce her to leave. Actually, she was not ready to leave the house at any cost and that's why Lois has made to this plan. Moving to question number 5, how does Lois try to frighten Jane? Lois anyhow wants to send Jane out of the house before Thursday. He says to Jane that Sturridge thinks that Jane is Queen Anne who has died years ago. Sturridge is of the view that Jane should be dead as Queen Anne and he feels irritated to see Jane alive. So Sturridge could be aggressive for her. So Lois thinks that after listening to all this, maybe Jane plans to leave the house after having the fear of Sturridge violence. 
Question number six from the part in four. Do you think Lois was regularly in the habit of borrowing money from Mrs. Buwissel? How do you know? The answer is yes, he is not interested in earning a livelihood. He always demands money from his aunt anyhow by making different plans. He is a miracle merchant. He has the quality of merchant. That is why he makes a deal with his aunt. Lois prepares the plan in his own interest to extract money from his aunt. That's why he was known as miracle merchant because merchant means trader, businessman who always uh, for their benefit cracks different deals whether it's in the benefit of the other person or not. But they ensure their benefit and Lois was one of like those. Question number seven from the same part. What does Estridge ask Lois to do with the sword? Why do you think Lois asked storage to carry it up to the morning room? Does the effect of storage have the desired effect? The answer is Lois asks storage to take the sword to Miss Martlett's room. He wants to scare Jane. He makes a plan to make storage appear dangerous and tells him to take old basket hilted sword to Jane. Lois sows the seed of fear in storage's mind and scares her that storage is going to kill her with the sword. She becomes an easy victim of his trick. In panic, she leaves Mrs. Beauvisel's house. Question number eight. A distinct feature of Saki's stories and play is the surprise ending. Do you like the ending? The answer is yes, I like the ending as Lois's miracle miraculously proved him a fool. The final twist in the play makes it all amusing. This is an example answer. You can write the answer in your own words. Question number nine is, is the play funny? Pick out the few instances from the play to support your answer. The answer is, yes, the play is a bit funny. Some instances from the play are, even after admitting that she already had her breakfast, Jane was continuously eating till the time she talks Lois. She is a photoholic. Next is, when Sturridge carries the show to Miss Martlett's room, Jane was screaming and running as if Sturridge is going to kill her in actuality if you are finding more instances like this from the tax you can write i have given two for your reference here question number 10 is here explain the significance of the title do you think it is suitable one can you think of another title the miracle merchant is a very successful dramatization of saki's popular short stories writing named the hen it is full of irony humor prank plays and comedy the prank has the desired effect but the miracle worker doesn't gain the expected reward thus the title given to this play proves very apt again the answer is given for your reference you can add your preferred one question number 11 which character in the play is most humorous give reasons why you think this character is funniest of them all the answer is the most humorous in the play is Jane. As Jane is a photoholic, her statements are opposite to her actions. Even after done with her breakfast, she is not only continuously eating but also demanding. At another incident, when Sturridge follows the instruction of Lois and goes to Jane with sword innocently, Jane comes out shouting to leave the house. This creates humor and comedy in the play. Actually, Mrs. Buwissel was a grim and serious and old lady. Louis um, always thinks about finding uh, his benefit and all the things and to uh, please Mrs. Buwissel for his share. Another character, Sturridge, uh, was an obedient servant. So who is left? That is Jane, who is portrayed as humorous in this play. The last question is from the part extension. Some phrases with the word chase has been given. You have to match A part with the B and that has been done for you. And here we have completed all the question answer given in the exercise so far. So I am taking a leave now. Meet you next time.